Good evening. Lee Jung is off this week. After 17 months of tight restrictions at the border, Canada has now eased measures, welcoming fully vaccinated U.S. travelers back into this country. But for now, it remains a one-way street. CTV's Angela Jung is live at the Peace Arch Crossing that was extremely busy for much of the day. Angela, what are you seeing there now? Well, right now, Scott, there's virtually no lineup. A completely different story compared to earlier today, and we've been here for several hours. We're seeing lots of Washington plates, some Oregon and California plates. People telling us they're ecstatic to be back. The Peace Arch border crossing bustling once again with people eager to come back to B.C. Feels great. I'm going to hit Tim Hortons here as soon as I get across. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good to be back. We have a place in Quadra Island, and we haven't been there in two years. Canada has loosened rules for fully vaccinated American citizens and permanent residents. Visitors must comply with a list of requirements, including providing a negative COVID test and entering information into the Arrive Can app, or they won't be allowed into the country. Even if you're fully vaccinated and has all the documentation proved at hand, um, if the information required that's not uploaded on Arrive Can and you seek entry, you may be faced to turn back to the U.S. The return of American travelers bringing optimism for BC's tourism industry. But it will take a few years to go back to pre-pandemic levels. We don't have the cruise business yet. Meetings and conventions will take a while to pick up. So we still have challenges. It's not as though we're at the finish line yet. We're just starting. Some are hoping this is just a start of border changes. As long lines of cars head north, the southbound lanes sit empty. It's been radio silence from the American government, especially with the new administration. It's very disappointing that the Americans haven't made any sort of reciprocal agreements. While it's unknown when the White House will make an exemption for Canadians, it's clear people are willing to go the distance. 4,300 miles into this trip already. And rules were also loosened for air travelers. The three-day mandatory quarantine hotel stay now gone and fully vaccinated Americans like Canadians no longer have to quarantine. Okay, so Angela, now that we are in this fourth wave of COVID, is there any concern from health officials that this could impact the case numbers here? Well, Dr. Bonnie Henry said that the risk is low because only fully vaccinated Americans are allowed in. But, uh, but other experts say that if cases go up significantly, then it may be time to reconsider things. Scott? All right, thanks, Angela.